Time now for Pop News. It's Diane Macedo. What's happening? And we're going to start off with a Super Bowl themed pop news segment. Uh, starting with Snickers trying something new for the big game this year, airing a live commercial. It'll feature Adam Driver, who played Kylo Ren in The Force Awakens. But his co star may actually be stealing the spotlight after this sneak peek. Okay, live Super Bowl commercial with Adam Driver, 112 million people watching. Show us how you'd uh, deal with that kind of pressure. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, live Super Bowl commercial with Adam Driver. <laughs> so, uh, Driver's looking a little stiff, a little nervous. The horse, though, seems very relaxed. Uh, and he says that the whole thing is a risk. Going live, having animals, especially, he says, hiring him. We are sure he's going to do just fine, but we all appreciate yeah. some good self-deprecating humor. He's Love it. going into this all in the right spirit. And speaking of self-deprecating humor, Jimmy Kimmel paid tribute to the big game with a special edition of Mean Tweets, allowing Rob Gronkowski, Russell Wilson, and Von Miller to read some harsh, but let's face it, hilarious criticism. Take a look. Rob Gronkowski is one of the dumbest people in the world. <laughs> I have no problem with tweeting this because he probably can't read it. I'm tired of people saying Russell Wilson is too short to play quarterback. He's ugly, too. Ron Miller looks like an 80-year-old man from 1974. <laughs> wow. NFL fans, pretty passionate people. <laughs> and in the interest of immersive <laughs> journalism, I thought I might read one that I dug up on myself. Uh, OK, good. This is from Judy. Judy says to me, have you ever taken a look at your knees? If so, you might want to consider covering them. Oh, wow. Judy, that's why they put the desk here. It's just oh. for that reason alone, because they read that tweet. Um, I'm Judy. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it. I was joking. I thought it was a direct message. Uh, Rob, you couldn't find any? Not, not I, I, I pay somebody full time to filter that stuff and oh. make sure it never gets posted on my I timeline. I see, I see. It costs a lot of money. <laughs> And uh, the Girl Scouts, you might notice we've got yes, Girl Scout cookies so here. Well, the Girl Scouts USA is celebrating the 100th Back anniversary off. of their first cookie sale, and we are honoring this milestone with the four most popular flavors, Thin Mints, Samoas, Peanut Butter Pally, Patties, and Dosey Dose. But which one is America's favorite? Well, Influencer, a product what? reviews platform, Thin conducted Mint. an online poll Thin Mint. with over 5,000 Influencer members across the 50 states. And while everyone made a strong showing, yep. you're right, Paula. You they know it. Came no. out on the top. Mowing. They won the vote from 24 states, and this was an electoral college Is style that polling. So it was, it was like electoral eight. college, so it wasn't the popular vote. Well, the no. popular vote was certainly Samoa. Thin mints won 24 states. I'm going to mix a thin mint with a Samoa and a peanut butter. <laughs> That's Whatever happy. it is. That's solid. I probably should. Ron didn't even know what a Samoa was. Dan, I think you should read some of your mean tweets. Yeah, here's some mean tweets that were sent to me a couple of years ago. Make Dan go away, please. <laughs> Don, you have a hair out of place and it's making you look like alfalfa. That's my favorite because they called you Don? Don. Yeah, they called me Don. They really, uh, they were really well, into me. Hey, America, for Don and I. Yeah. We have to say thank you for joining us. Thin mints rock. Thanks, Diane. <laughs> thank you. Don. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Don. <laughs>